Johnny. Johnny. Johnny, wake up. Wake up, Johnny. We got your dog. Before dark. Denver, Johnny boy. That's where he's at. Yeah. That's where he's at. day on the Denver police force. Then, in the first few minutes after dark, my partner George Romack and I earned our whole day's wages. The two we'd caught were young and reckless, the kind Chief Richards had little patience with. Jim, give me a hand. Who's that? That's a junior burglar. Found them in front of your store with vacancy. Lucky they didn't kill you. George went in the front, I took the back. They came out the back. And you got hit stopping them? And only a couple of kids, Chief. When a kid takes a pot shot at you with a 45, he stops being a kid. Hey, you know, Smitty, one of these days that soft heartedness of yours is going to help graduate one of these young punks from petty larceny to, to murder. Your murder. Somebody has to take a chance with kids like that, Chief. Now, one thing's certain. They'll never try going straight. Why don't you go on over and have Doc Anderson take a look at that? It's not too bad. What are you doing? I'm giving you a vacation. Three days to let your arm heal. I told you it's not bad. Smitty, don't push your luck. You know good around here with a bad gun arm? Now take three days off. That's One right. more word and you're going to get it without pay. Well, like I said, I love paid vacation. <laughs> you a drink. Chief Richards just told me how you and Romack nailed them sneak thieves in my warehouse. Uh, George and I just happened along at the right time. It's all in a day's work, Mr. Brennan. Well, I want you to know I appreciate it, Tom. Huh? Bartender, Smith can't spend a nickel in here tonight. But it's Give yellow. everybody a drink on me. We're going to drink to the best lawman in Colorado Territory. The Whispering Smith. <laughs> Whispering Smith! What's eating you, boy? All right, 
anybody know him? Who is he? Well, whoever he is, he sure took a dislike to you. what I'd like to know. He belonged to you. He's my brother. Johnny. Oh, Ma's gonna kill me when she finds out. You live around here? We can't just south of town. How am I gonna get him back there? You ought to sleep it off in jail. You'll be responsible for him. I'll help you get him back to town. Oh, oh thank you. Come on, go. What did you do to my boy? He needs a little sleep. You'll be fine. You let him get drunk. Didn't I tell you to keep him out of saloon? I don't believe I'd take it out on the girl. Who are you? Name Smith. Whispering Smith. That's what he called me just before he jumped me. Heard my name and went on the prod. You mind telling me why? I heard about you, that's all. Heard about Whispering Smith, the Denver lawman. Well, that's half an introduction. Who are you folks? Name's Gates. Just three of you? Don't you have a husband? Not anymore. What's your name? Cora. Have we met before? No, never. Son, you want to take it a mite easy on that drinking. You don't handle it too well. Your women folks can be in a bad way if you get thrown in jail. Good night. Ma, I couldn't help you. What... Stop you. Now you know what to do. I know. Get on with it. All right, Ma. You near ruined everything after all our plans. You fool! Ma, don't my place! How many times? How many times did I tell you the way they hounded your pa? Hunted him like he was a mad dog till that Smith shot him down and let him die in the gutter. Because your pa killed a lawman. You want him to hunt you? You want to die in the mud? That ain't vengeance, Johnny boy. We're going to do better than that. We're going to do a whole heap better. You're going to kill him, Johnny boy. You're going to kill him and go scot free. That's vengeance, Johnny boy. Mr. Smith? Wait, please. Oh, Mr. Smith, I... I need your help. What kind of help? It's Ma. I just gotta get away from her. Why? Oh, well, you don't know what she's like. The way she treats us, Johnny and me, why... She whips us. Cora, are you making this up? Look and see. I, I just got to get away from her legal, so she can't ever come after me again. I won't be no trouble to you. Honest. All right. Come along. Sorry to wake you up so late, but we need a room. Protective custody case. Oh, the poor thing. I'll get you some of my daughter's night things, dearie. Tomorrow we'll try to get you squared away. But tonight, 
Don't you worry about a thing. This way, dearie. We'll take good care of you. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Good night. Cora, that's good enough. I'm finished, Ma. Johnny boy, you shoot him once for me. You say to yourself, this is for my sister, Cora, and then drill him dead center. 
Why do you hate him so much? Because he turned you down? No. Because he killed Paul. I remember that night they brought Paul in, all bloody and cold. Whispering Smith. Ooh, I just wish it was me tomorrow. I'm going to blast him apart. You know what? I wish it was you, too. You killed a milk. You can get yourself drunk and start a bar brawl good enough. But can you stand up sober and gunfight like a man? I can gunfight good enough. But I ain't no man. When? When did you ever treat me like a man? You've been whooping me like a cur dog ever since I was old enough to walk. In that saloon last night, when I heard his name, it was just like all the hate in me come boiling up. And I'd have killed him. With my bare hands if I could. But that's all gone now. Maybe he beat it out of me. I don't know. Johnny boy, you ain't gonna let me down now. I waited 10 years till you was old enough and good enough with your gun. Don't throw it all away. Don't stop now when we're so close. I ain't stopping. Go get your vengeance. You and Cora. And I'll get the first notch in my gun. Draw so fast you can't even see him, Smitty. He makes that 45 sound like a Gatling gun. You said there was a lot of talk. Did you hear any of it? Oh, I couldn't get close enough. What are you going to do, Smitty? I don't know yet, George. He's just a kid. Well, you just better draw your fastest and shoot your best. That's all I got to say. And for once, I go along with Chief Richards 100%. You aim dead center, Smitty, because kid or no kid, that boy will kill you if you don't. You say he fans his gun. Does he square away to the target and stand for a second or two before he draws? Yeah, yeah, I think he does. Sounds like one of those naturals. Aims in his head before he even draws his gun. Well, how's that going to help you? Oh, George, he's used to shooting at a stationary target. Come in. Can I see you, Mr. Smith? Alone? Yeah, you can see me alone if you want to. Be careful, Smitty. He's not wearing a gun. Besides, he doesn't want to kill me until after I'm fired, do you, Johnny? See you later, George. Sit down. Well, Johnny? The same in the saloon that you're going to lose your job tomorrow, for sure. Well, that's what you want, isn't it? Ma does. She doesn't want me to kill a lawman. That's sensible. You can get in a lot of trouble killing a lawman. Your father found that out. Do you know who my father was? Sam Jessup. Tell me about him. What was he like? He was a killer, Johnny. Worst kind. He killed for fun. Just for the thrill of it. There was a sheriff, an old timer, gone fat and slow. He tried to arrest Jessup in a bar. Jessup spit whiskey in his eyes, blinded him. Stuck his gun in his belly and pulled the trigger. Six times. Now you're lying, he didn't. I was the old sheriff's deputy. 
my first law job. I caught Jessup trying to get out of town. We shot it out. All I remember is when I was little. We had a lot of fun together. He'd come home and we'd wrestle around. And I'd holler, and he'd laugh. He laughed a lot. Yeah, he did. He laughed when he shot the old sheriff. But uh, he did say he was good to his kids, so I guess he wasn't all bad. But I've got to tell you something, Johnny. I didn't regret killing him. And I still don't. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Mr. Smith. You going through with it? I got to. But I'll tell you one thing, though. When I kill you tomorrow, I won't laugh. More than an hour since the council meeting started. Wonder what's taking so long. Well, Smitty ain't holding him up. He said believe him or believe the gate punch. And that's all he told him. Look at them. Vultures. Smitty, how'd it go? Well, just the way I... Smith! You know what to say. I'm off the force, Mrs. Gates. Just the way you wanted it. I'm calling you out, Smith. For what you've done to Cora. I got a brother's right. Cora's a liar. <laughs> Johnny? I'm sure. I missed you. You've been practicing on a stationary target, Johnny. When I moved, you couldn't track me fast enough, but you came close. Girl's dead. Cora? You take it easy. It's too late to help her. Guess it was too late a long time ago. Your mother will have to be jailed, son. Killed a girl while attempting murder. She's still my mother. I want to go to her. To Johnny Gates, a scarecrow would always be a symbol. A symbol of what a mother can do to her young when she feeds them only on hatred and revenge.